Welcome to this demonstration video for learning individual speaking styles for accurate lip-to-speech synthesis. In this work, we try to generate speech from only the lip movements of specific speakers. We've talked about the relationship between the wavelength, the frequency, and the speed of electromagnetic radiation. In fact, the product of the wavelength and the frequency is its speed. The speech you just heard is generated solely from the lip movements of the speaker by our lip 2 wave model. We model the generation of speech from lip movements as a sequence to sequence problem. Given a silent talking face video, we extract the face in each video frame using a face detector. We feed these sequences of face crops to our spatio temporal face encoder, followed by a speech decoder. From our generated MEL spectrogram, we employ a standard vocoder to get the raw speech. Even though the main focus of this work is generating speech from lip movements in unconstrained environments, but first, let us check out some results in constrained settings. We also compare our model with some previous works tackling the same problem. Set wide with I7 soon. 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 Here are the results on another dataset in constrained settings with a relatively larger vocabulary. Eight field guns of function frame decision. Eight field guns were captured in position. Eight field guns were captured in position. Now if you'll pardon me, I won't keep him waiting. Now if you'll pardon me, I won't keep him waiting. For the task of speech generation in real-world settings, we collect a dataset using videos publicly available on YouTube. Our dataset consists of lecture videos on various topics and chess commentary videos. We train our speaker-specific model for each of these five speakers separately. We will now show that these models give superior performance in unconstrained real-world settings, with 100x larger vocabulary and significant head motion. So we already saw how to train such a very shallow neural network. What is the uh, learning algorithm? Radiant descent. And this was the update code. Right? In particular, I wanted you to notice that the gradient actually depends on the input. So we already saw how to train such a very shallow neural network. What was the uh, learning algorithm? Gradient descent. And this was the update rule. Right? In particular, I want you to notice that the gra gradient actually depends on the input. Okay? Let us look at some more results from our lip to wave model. For any of these weights, W1, W2, W3, the gradient formula will have this HI minus 1. What is HI minus 1? Input from the previous layer, right? And H0 is the actual input. So the gradient in any layer is actually proportional to the input from the previous layer. And this was Knight of 3, B6 with B4, C captures, Knight captures. Uh, we have Knight of 6, Knight. In addition to single speaker results, we show that our model can lip read and generate speech in any voice with the help of an additional speaker embedding. We show our multi speaker speech generation results on the test set of the LRW dataset, where we lip read the word that is uttered. I've been accused of. Understand. Understand that. My prison officer. My prison officer. The result of result of that. Our work opens up several applications such as video conferencing in silent environments, long-range listening for surveillance, and generating a voice for people who cannot produce voiced sounds due to aphonia. Before we end this demonstration, we show a final interesting application of our system. In the event of speech corruption, our model can seamlessly generate and fill in the missing segments solely from the lip movements. Let's look at a cell potential of 0.5 volts for an oxidation of bromide by permanganate. The question I have is, what pKH would cause this voltage? Would it be a pH that's less than zero, equal to zero? 
We provide the links to our paper, codes and models, dataset and the project website in the description below. For more updates on the dataset, please follow our GitHub repository as well as our project website. Thank you for your attention.